100 metres breaststroke, SB5. Eight competitors will line up. And here they come on to poolside. World records 131.50. In lane and in lane number one, Adriano de Lima, representing Brazil. Forsman goes in two for Sweden. James O'Shea goes in lane number three for Great Britain. He is a showman. He is. Rodriguez, Roberto Rodriguez in four for Brazil. Rangel in five for Mexico. Nils Grunenberg for Germany goes in six. In lane number seven, representing South Africa, Hedrick Vandermeer. Vandermeer in goes in lane seven for South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, your finalist for the men's 100 meters. Potoktony goes in lane number seven for Poland. In fact, James we do wonder whether that... Oh, he didn't look hurt. And we hope he isn't. He's Almost, like you say, showmanship there. <laughs> James O'Shea, the man, was discovered by Great Britain Olympic swimmer Mark Foster. Mark Foster, I'm sure, will be watching this to see how his protégé gets on. James O'Shea, fourth place in the London Paralympic Games. Can he get on the medal podium? It's going to be very tough for him. Strong field here. Roberto Rodriguez from Brazil, the fastest qualifier, 135.67. Just going there in lane four, but that one towel on the block, swimmers are allowed that one towel to stop abrasions. Take your well, a nice start in lane number three, James O'Shea. So falling off his chair there has not put him off at all. In fact, may have got a big adrenaline rush for that because <laughs> blistering away there. The world record, well, that stood since 1996. Kasper Engel of the Netherlands. And this is really tight at the moment. O'Shea, Rodriguez, Rangel. Really up there also in lane number five, Rangel. Well, perhaps slipping back a little bit. Thought Rangel was coming through for a short stage there with a number of strong strokes, but in lane number three for Great Britain, James O'Shea looks like he's still in the lead by six one hundredths of a second. Now, James O'Shea, what can he do? These swimmers have got no propulsion at all from their legs. It's all upper body movement, and this is going to really hurt as they come into the last 50 here. And a great burst there from the swimmer in the middle, Roberto Rodriguez from Brazil. Looks like he's forging ahead. O'Shea dropping back, and maybe Pedro Rangel, the 2008 Paralympic champion from Mexico, coming back into it now. O'Shea trying to get back on terms with the Brazilian, but he's going to be in a battle with the bronze with Niels Grunenberg. The gold, I think, is going to go to Brazil. Roberto Rodriguez has timed it perfectly, and he takes it. 137.32. Pedro Rangel, 138.05 in the silver medal position, and Niels Grunenberg came through very strongly for the bronze. 138.31. O'Shea the leader at halfway finishes in fourth position. Well, there's the dive start. Nothing much in it, really, across the pool. Lane number six, Grunenberg not uh, getting such a good entry as his competitors. But Rangel, he was good in the early stages. He made a break at around about 15, 20 metres, then slipped back was out of the frame, looked like he was falling back all the time, but what a great last 20 metres for him. There is the bald-headed swimmer. At round about this point here, he started to dig in. Great Britain's James O'Shea was doing exceptionally well, but just fell out of the medals for Great Britain. Rodriguez, though, well, he made it his own. 
137, 32 to take gold. And there's some super slow-mo finishing to bring those remarkable pictures back home. There is, we think, a disqualification. We'll have to wait for the official times to be posted. It may well be Potosny in lane number, and it is lane number eight. He swam a disqualification for him, unfortunately, so the Polish team will be a little concerned and disappointed with that. But as we say each evening, there is a half an hour, 30 minutes to make appeal. But there's the one, two, three. Rodriguez, Rangel and Grunenberg. Gold, silver and bronze.